question is the least number which should be subtracted from 11075 to make it a perfect square this this is a quantity application on properties of numbers again properties of numbers so you should know perfect square is when you multiply by the same number i will multiply for example 2 to 2 is a perfect square 2 to 2 is 4 is a perfect square 3 to 3 9 is a perfect square 3 to 3 9 is a perfect square. So, we will have out of this, this, which is a perfect square. We will have to reduce some number to make it a perfect square. We will reduce some number to make it a perfect square. Now, what happens is 11075. So, it's, uh, you can't remember all the square numbers. So you can't remember all the square numbers. We will have to do something faster to get the square numbers. It is practically very difficult for anyone to remember all the square numbers. So, what happens is, because it is 11,075, think of the nearest round digit number, so it will be easier for you to multiply. Think about the nearest round number, which will be easier for you to multiply. So, this 11,075 can be 11,000 plus 75. So, I am just thinking of 11,000. I am just thinking of 11,000. Plus 75, I will, according to I will match it. So, 11,000, this 11,000 can be written as, 110 into 100. So this two zeros goes here, 100, and two one zero comes here into 110 and 100. And because it is a square number, because it is a square number, so reduce this by 5. So reduce this by 5 and you add this by 5, it becomes 105 square. Reduce this by 5 and add this by 5. So it will be 105 into 105. 105 into 105. Reduce this by 5, add this by 5, it will become a perfect square. Find out what the square of this, then do the adjustments accordingly. Then do the adjustments accordingly. See, the rule of 5 is whenever you multiply 2 digit number by 5, whenever you multiply 2 digit number by 5, it 25 into 25. This is 5 into 5, 25. 2 next number will be 3, 2 into 3 will be 6. Any number ending it 5, I can do it like this. Suppose it is 35 into 35. 35 to 35, 5 is a 25, 3 next number is 4, 3 to 4 will be 12. Even if it is a 4 digit number like 1125 into 1125, 5 by the 25, and then the remaining number will be 112 into 113. The remaining number will be 112 into 113. So, just 5 into 5 25, then of the remaining next number, 112 into 113, 2 into 3, 3 into 4 like that. I can apply the same rule here. So, 105 into 105, so, 5 by 25, remaining number is 10, 10 level will be 110. So, 11025 is a perfect square. 11025 is a perfect square. The number that we have been given is 11,075. So, from 11,075, from 11,075, reduce 11,025, which is a perfect square. So, the answer is 50. The question is, what should be the subtracted from 11,075? 50 should be subtracted. 50 should be subtracted. So, when you are doing like this, in case you get a number which is greater than 11075, then check for 104 and 104. You don't have to do from 1 to 104. Supposing this 10105 is greater than 105 is greater than 11075, then check for 104 and 104. It should be closer one. That is the easier way of finding out the closer squares. As simple as this rule of 5, rule, rule of 5, multiplication by square of 5. And then find about a square number. Just think of the round number, nearest round number. Suppose they give you a number with maybe 6000, then do it as 20 into 30. Then do the adjustments like that. So find out the closer ones. Find out closer ones. 600 will be 20 into 30, like that. Think of something closer ones. Think of something closer ones. 6000, you can go from 160, then reduce it, then make a perfect square, you can get an answer. So it is all how you are able to split the numbers and get your answer fast. Subscribe to my channel. I will be adding questions every now and then. Wish you all the best.